What's going on YouTube, Geosnorik here. In today's video, we have yet another customization tool for iOS 16.0 all the way up to iOS 18 on all devices. This one is called Sparse Box, and it's actually based on the same vulnerability, same kind of mechanism that the troll store for iOS 17 is based on, and the same method used by Misaka X, which allows you to customize your device and enable various things like dynamic island, boot chime, disable the shutter sound, enable always on display, get the old photo UI back on iOS 18, and stuff like that. A lot of tweaks that you can enable without a jailbreak. Well, this one is called Sparse Box and works directly on your device compared to Misaka X, which requires a computer, either Windows or Mac OS. So let's see it in action. I do have it available over here on my device. And as you can see, this is the application. Once you open it, you have to select a pairing file. I will have a full guide on this soon. Normally, you should install this with Site Store. And then you have a couple of tweaks that you can enable. For example, the action button, allow installing iPad OS applications on iPhone, always on display for iOS 18, Apple Pencil support, enable the boot chime, camera button, charge limit, crash detection, dynamic island, internal storage info, metal HUD for all applications, stage manager, tap to wake on iPhone SC. Those are a couple of tweaks that you can enable with this. You select the ones that you want. As you can see, those that are not compatible will be grayed out and you cannot turn them on. And after that, you press apply changes. And that's it. If you want to get rid of the tweaks, you press reset changes. And yeah, that's it. You can get this, you can enable it on the device. And this uses the same mechanism as I said, it uses the sparse restore mechanism, but it does that directly on the device and it's been fully rewritten in Swift. So this is pretty nice. Definitely check it out. Also check out Misaka X. I have a full guide here on iDeviceCentral.com as well as a video. And it's actually pretty nice too. You get kind of the same things in Misaka X, but this one requires a computer. However, Misaka X can also enable the old photos UI. So you can get the old photos UI from iOS 17 on iOS 18 if you liked it better. And you can also install Troll Store on iOS 17 and 16 with it. So Misaka X does have a few advantages for using a computer. However, most of the tweaks in here can actually be enabled with Sparsebox directly on the device. So definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, peace out.